Hello developers, in this video we are going to find out how we can use runtime permissions in Android. So let's start with the Android manifest file. Go ahead and add the camera permissions. Okay, we will go to the activity now. So my activity is called the camera permission activity. And as you know that uh, the runtime permissions are needed only for versions greater than Android Marshmallow. So whatever less than Marshmallow doesn't need the permissions, the runtime permissions. So that means if the user is running versions less than Marshmallow, we don't have to ask the user for the runtime permissions. Here I have two emulators, one running KitKat and the other running Marshmallow. So let's start and we will be testing in both simulators at the same time and see what are the changes needed. So first thing what we have to do is we have to check the versions. So if the version is greater than Marshmallow, we are going to ask the permission and if, it's, if it is less than Marshmallow, we are not going to ask the permission to the user. Okay, let's start. So that will be if build dot Let's get the SDK version. Version dot SDK int. If it is less than the Marshmallow version, that will be version chords. Version chords dot m. So we are not going to ask the permission else we will be asking the permission from the user. So let's write a small function just to show some messages. So that will just a toast. So we'll just toast it out. Just toast uh, if it is less than marshmallow and if it is greater than marshmallow. Let's go ahead and write uh, the method to open the camera. So that will be a new intent with the image capture intent. Let's quickly write it. And we are going to start that intent once the app opens. Copy there. Let's uh, run it in the KitKat device. So when it starts, it should open the camera. So there it is. And that is fine. Let's do the same thing in uh, the Marshmallow device. For before that, we will we'll just add a button in the UI. that says open camera okay open camera let's go ahead and add a on click listener to the button let's move those snippet of code inside into a function and let's extract it to a method Let's say init and let's copy that inside the on click. Okay. <coughs> we'll just run it and see. Let's go ahead to the KitKat device. On click of the button should open the camera. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back to the editor. Let's run it in the Marshmallow device. So what do you think gonna happen? Yep, 
so that will crash the application since from our fellow we need the permission from the user to open the camera so let's write a method handle permission and we will call that handle permission if it is a marshmallow device let's check if the app has the permission so if it has the permission to access the camera then we'll go ahead and open the camera so remember that if the app was running in lower versions than marshmallow before you don't have to ask the permission since it is already been granted in when it was running in the KitKat or whatever less than marshmallow so if it is running in marshmallow or greater you need to ask the permission so we are checking if the permission if the package has a permission to access the camera if it has we are opening the camera else we are going to request the permission from the user so that will be request permissions the permission and third will be a constant that we are going to use in the callback so let's declare a constant that will be a final constant public static final constant let's say camera permission request let's give it a constant as thousand copy that and use it in the request permissions there is an error so so that's an integer array you can have any number of permissions so that will be sorry that will be a string array <coughs> so let's use only one permission now that will be the camera permission remember that you can add any number of permissions there and it will, the system will prompt with all that prompts for the permissions to the user so let's write the callback so you need to override a method card on request permission result so that's our request code let's check the request code and if it is our request code that's a camera permission request let's loop through the permissions so if the permission let's get the permission as a string string permission equal to permissions get the permission from the array and let's check if the granted permission granted results if it is equal to if it is granted or not okay let's check if it is denied or not okay if it is denied we have to do something but else we are going, going to open the camera if it is denied you are going to check something called rational so if it is denied the system is going to we can ask the system to show the prompt again but it will come back with a new checkbox that's called that's with the label never ask again so if the user is going to click that checkbox never ask again it's not going the system is not going to prompt any more permissions so let's check that if hash if uh, show rational then what we're gonna do let's show a toast for now to check if it is working so that means it has been denied once or more before else the user has clicked never ask again so system is not going to prompt any more messages so we are going to capture that okay let's put a toast for now let's uh, so everything the basic skeleton is done let's go ahead and run it in the marshmallow device let's click the camera so there there is a runtime permissions so we're going to allow it so it will open the camera <coughs> now let's try again okay now we will uninstall the device sorry uninstall the app and let's try again now in this now 
we are going to deny the permission. Take a look at the toast so that that you can see it's denied once or more. So the second time it's going to come with the never ask again prompt. So if we are going to click the deny completely, never ask again. So your allow button will be disabled and system will never show any prompt again. So as you can see, it is showing never ask again. So if you click the camera again, it's not going to show the prompt. Okay, what we are going to do if it is completely denied. One thing we can do is redirect them to settings. So we are going, just going to show an alert and which has don't allow and settings. And I'm just copying and pasting some code to redirect them to settings, the app settings. And when they click on settings, we are going to open the settings and ask the user to manually enable the permission since they completely denied. So we're calling that there. Okay, so open camera. Okay, now if you don't allow, we are dismissing the alert. So if they click settings, they'll be redirected to the current app settings. So as you can see, no permission is granted in the permission section. Let's click that and enable the camera permission. Let's click the open camera button again. There it is. So it will open the camera since the user manually give the permission. Let's try that again. Okay, it's working. So that means if the user has completely denied the permissions, then they have to go to settings and enable it. So you can have a soft task to tell them to go to settings and enable the corresponding permission, whatever it is. If it is camera or GPS or whatever even the storage permission, anything like that. I hope the video is useful. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and please share the video with other developers. And thank you for watching.